Hello and welcome to 1205 Kim Lane, Kettering, Ohio. Here I'm walking up to the front of the home. First thing I notice here is we have a what appears to be a newer dimensional shingle roof. Driveway looks like it can't be more than a couple years old. Just a cute, cute house here. Front door's over there and I'll bring you through the front door. I figure I'll just show you the backyard right now. Little covered patio here. This will be our back door. All the windows are updated. As you can see, we have an oversized two-car garage. Little patio area, air conditioner is over there. And this is a very deep backyard. And pretty private back here too. There's even a big section behind the garage there. And the roof on the garage looks like it's newer as well. Nice mature looking healthy tree here. And most of the yard is fenced. I think there's just a little section here and maybe behind the garage that would need some work if you have a Fido that needs uh, to fence them in there. So great outside, now let's go check out the inside. All right, so here I just walk through the front door. We're greeted by a good sized living room here. Staircase is immediately once you walk through the front door. There is a little storage area underneath the stairs here. And this whole section is storage as well. And I'll show you that door here in a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. But here we have a gas fireplace. This was put in, we believe, about the 90s, so it is not original to the house. All of the windows have been updated. These are double pane glass, and they're tilt-in windows as well, so you can pull them in to clean the glass. So good-sized room here. Kitchen is right behind that wall, and we'll talk about that here right now. Walking into the kitchen, we have our dining area right here. Good sized pantry over here. And the light is, that's a little bit better there. It looked darker than what it does in person. The refrigerator does stay, as does the range, and the washer and dryer stay. This is not a fix, this is just setting up top here, and this countertop does stay as well. From the kitchen sink overlooks the backyard, which we already saw. And one thing that's all the rage right now is to knock down that wall right there and make it open into the living room, put a nice you know, peninsula or island right there would be very, very cool. Now coming over, we have two bedrooms on this floor. This is that door, this is a huge storage area that goes all the way back to there, so a huge closet. Bathroom, this is updated. We have, uh, this is either ceramic or porcelain tile in here. Everything is very clean. Window updated in here as well. Our furnace and water heater are in this room. And this bedroom over here, it's all accessible from that door or that door. And that's also where our panel box is, and that's an updated panel box. Now I did pull up the registers in both of the bedrooms, double by full closet, and I did see wood floors underneath the carpet in the bedrooms. I do not know, I didn't want to peel the carpet back in here, I would assume. That we have hardwood in here as well, but I did not check that. Linen closet right here, and then bedroom number two. This is on the front left of the home. Good sized room here, double bifold closet. Both bedrooms on the first floor have ceiling fans, so you could convert those over if you wanted to have lights in there as well, but it definitely helps with the energy efficiency. Next, let's go upstairs and take a look, and I have a surprise up there to show you as well. I'll meet you upstairs. All right, so here I just came up the stairs and we're greeted by a very large bedroom up here. Tons of storage. So we have built-in dresser drawer cabinets over here. You see a huge amount of space. Double closet here, and these even open to closets or little storage areas as well. Updated window up here as well. So good sized room up here. And then the surprise, oh, and then, well, I'll tell you the surprise here in a second, but all the way down here is storage all the way down on both sides. So there's ample storage in this place. And then, you know, we're saying it's a three bedroom, but check out this walk-in closet. One of the biggest walk-in closets you'll ever see. So this could easily be finished off as a fourth bedroom. And honestly, there's enough room over here. I think we get my bearings. I think our plumbing is right over there for the downstairs bathroom. So you even throw a second bathroom up here and finish this off very nicely. We even have storage up here as well. 
And here you can see the little access holes that go down both sides. So with not much work, we could have a four bedroom, two bath home here. So if you have any questions about this home or if you'd like to see it in person, feel free to give me a call or give your realtor a call. I'm sure they'd be happy to show it to you. A home like this, at this price, this house just has great bones. Updated roof, oversized one car garage, big backyard, and a very attractive price, and there's room to grow. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to talking to you.